My name is Louis Lombardi and I'm an applications tech for the Threadlocker Labs department. Uh, doesn't matter if it's support, infrastructure needs a little bit of help, we're there for them. Sales engineers, they need something from us, we're there for them. We're the, the people that do everything. You need 200 monitors being brought upstairs, we're going downstairs, we're picking up those monitors, we're helping out. Before we even create the built-ins, we do intensive research. We look at websites, we're like, hey, can we get an EXE and MSI from here? We go and talk to support of that application. We might be calling, we might be chatting, we're trying to get a way to get these applications downloaded. And sometimes we have to make accounts, trial accounts. Like I said, it's not just an application that I'm checking release notes. It gets deep. As you move up through the tiers, you do more work. You start realizing there's more things to do. Flags are super important, prio. They're, those are the denies that our clients are getting. It's like a whole, kind of like a story of how I started, uh, how I wanted to get into cybersecurity. It starts with the target being hacked, a Trojan horse, and causing a lot of people's accounts to be stolen. I was one of those people, I was a victim. My information was stolen, credit card information, where I live. I believe they even were able to get my social security. It was a nightmare for like the next two years after that happened. I was unable to get credit cards. I was unable to move into any apartments because my credit went bad from it. Even filing my taxes was an issue. Social Security thought I wasn't the person trying to file my taxes. I couldn't do anything. Put on hold as a person. It, it was That's where I decided I'm going to go to school for IT. I get into UCF and I get into the Cybersecurity Protection Program, followed by CompTIA networking, CompTIA Security Plus, currently working on my CYSA Plus. But that affected me so much that I knew that I wanted to get in that field to try and not let this happen to other people. On top of that, I had people who were already here for a year telling me that it was a great company. We love it here. Um, you should try it out. And that's why I came over here. I had like four people that from, from school that were working here. And now they're all managers in their departments. My hobbies that I like to do, and it's very common, I collect Pokemon cards, collect Transformers, Street Fighter stuff. I get home, I have three kids. I have a one-year-old, a 10-year-old, a 14-year-old, and at the moment, I'm taking care of my 90-year-old grandma that's currently living with me. That's literally what I like to do, um, and what I decided I, I like to do. It's, a, like I said, another full-time job. They're the reason I'm so determined motivated, uh, a hard worker. And if I'm winning, my family is winning. When I first started at the job, I, I set goals for myself like, hey, I gotta get this many checks done. I gotta get this many these many flags done. I have to do this many side projects. And then at, at a certain point, after a few months here, I'm like, okay, now I have to get to tier two. So I'm an application tech tier two. And at tier two, it requires a massive amount of work, testing, projects, how to do certain things. You have to know a lot. Once I accomplish my short-term goal of being a tier two, I also set myself as a short-term goal to become a lead with the long-term goal of one day being a manager. My coworkers, I don't even consider them coworkers. I consider them family. I was always looking for, for the success, not only my success, but the success of others. When it came to tier two, since I was a tier two, I was helping other people achieve their tier two position. On top of that, when, you know, I would always push the certifications on people like, hey, get your certifications. Don't waste away at home doing other things. You can get your certifications and you can get paid more. You can move up more. You can have that on your resume. It was this Monday, it was two days ago. I'm sitting at my desk and there was an announcement that I would be a lead in training, followed by a visit by the marketing team saying, hey, you are nominated for Spotlight. Those two achievements have had me overwhelmed just in, and just emotional. It's just the company showing a lot of love for me. It's, it's an amazing feeling. Sometimes I'm, I'm still think I'm dreaming and that I'm gonna wake up in this dream and be like, wait, am I dreaming or is this for real? That's, that's what I'm going through right now. It's an emotional roller coaster, and one hell of a ride that I do not wanna get off of. My name is Christian, uh, last name is Virgos. I am a applications technician in the applications department here at ThreatLocker. My personal relationship and I guess my work relationship with Lewis, he is pretty much my mentor here at ThreatLocker. I go to him for everything. He's just the type of person to help me out with any questions that I may have. I would say he's very exceptional with uh, training people, really honing in on their strengths and their skills to be able to bring those to the forefront. Lewis is just 
fantastic at doing those types of things. He does it not only with you know new hires, he does it with veterans as well. And he's just fantastic. A really, really exceptional employee here at Threat Locker. My name is Ian Brooker. I am a Mac OS specialist on the applications team. Lewis was one of the mentors that I had when I first started here back in June. Lewis has been an integral part of what I do, not just understanding Threat Locker, but even translating that to Mac. Lewis uh, admittedly wasn't familiar with Mac, but he was eager to learn. And his willingness to learn about Mac, he taught me so much about Threat Locker and what he taught me helped apply concepts to getting the Mac agent rolled out, getting uh, some of the concepts that we use on the Windows side translated to the Mac OS side. And like, he just had a, a hunger to want to know Mac better. He's like, hey, I know this isn't really my thing, but like, I want to be of service to you. The more I know about Mac, the more questions I can answer when you ask me. Because everyone is so afraid or hesitant with Mac because it's something different, it's something new, that spoke volumes to me about Lewis's character. He was willing to put himself in an unfamiliar area just to support someone. And that's the type of person that people like to follow. Uh, people will always follow. When they give you a direction, you don't question it because you know that they always have your best interest in mind uh, whenever they're asking you to do something. He was a huge part of my current success and will continue to be that because of his support and how uh, open he is to helping out people. My name is Carlos Rodriguez. My job title is application technician. So I saw Lewis grow since he first started working here. The relationship, like we hit it off. He used to sit next to me when we first got here. Really cool guy, really enjoyed uh, working with him. Uh, right, liked his personality. I think we're pretty good friends now, you know? In regards to like work ethic and stuff like that, super smart guy. Always enjoy hearing from his perspective things, you know? Um, I think he catches on to things really well. He asks the right questions, so awesome, awesome guy. My name is Richard Walsh and I am an applications technician. Um, working with Lewis is, is, is great. He's an uplifting person to have in the office. You know, he brings high spirits. He makes things a little fun, but like, you know, serious at the same time. Makes things enjoyable, kind of brings people together and tries to get people to do things with each other. He really just helps the chemistry of the entire app team environment. And he tries to make sure that everybody learns everything they need to know. He's very, very helpful in that regard. And he'll like shoot you messages and be like, you good, you know, need help with anything. He really tries to like stay on people and help them out. 